Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the GeoAlarm app and how to go ahead and get the settings configured, what they mean, and how to use them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get logged in. Once logged in, you're going to choose that menu button in the bottom left hand corner. Once in menu, you can see the different options here, but we're going to choose settings. Once you're in settings, you can see the different options uh, available there for you to choose from uh, within the settings menu itself. Preferences, notifications, security, video, control, climate, rooms, and about. We'll go into preferences first here. Under preferences, you can see the different things available here. We have sign in with face ID, auto sign out after five minutes, pretty self-explanatory there. Remain signed in, um, that would obviously cancel out the uh, previous option. Um, and the different options for Fahrenheit, which are Celsius or, or Fahrenheit, I'm sorry, different options for temperature, which are Fahrenheit or Celsius that are available here. All right, so uh, those are the, what's within preferences currently. Next, we're gonna go under notifications. Under notifications, I've touched on this on a previous video, um, setting up email, text, and push notifications. Um, but you can obviously enable or disable those here, depending on if you've already got your phone number and email associated. Um, you can also uh, enable or disable whether or not a sensor will notify you uh, when it's opened or closed. It's, a, it's like a sensor activity monitoring feature. Uh, pretty cool feature, though, uh, if you want to monitor a specific sensor or maybe a window or something just to see if it's being opened or closed. Uh, it's a pretty useful function. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and go under security, and then in there you can see the different options that are available. Disarm panel using Face ID, so if you want to use Face ID to, arm, uh, to disarm your system, you can do so. Uh, it'll show if your panel is connected, and it'll also give the connection strength of your connection, so a uh, very, very useful tool there. Um, you can check your sensors here. Uh, uh, you can see what zone number they are and what they're named under this as well. Uh, we're going to go back and then go back again. Next, we'll go under video. Under video, you'll be able to see all your video devices here. And if you choose a video device, uh, it'll bring you in there and show you all the settings. I'm going to touch on that more in another video. But uh, this is where you're going to view every single one of your video devices and how to adjust their settings. Uh, press the back arrow. Next, we're going to go under control. Under control, this will be where all of your home automation devices are. Lights, locks, thermostats anything or lights and locks I apologize not uh, really the thermostats here but um, lights and locks will be here um, and you'll be able to choose settings and configure them here um, we're gonna go ahead and press the back arrow uh, you're gonna go to climate this is where you'll see your thermostats everything existing for the thermostats currently um, and their settings um, so I'll obviously touch on that in another video as well um, but that is where you look and configure uh, at your thermostats um, so next we'll go under rooms and rooms is pretty self-explanatory uh, it tells you exactly what it is in there um, and it says welcome to rooms with rooms you can organize and control your devices based on which room in your house they belong start here by creating and naming a room and adding devices to it the process is easy and adds another layer of control to your home so you would just choose home and then you'd be able to start configuring uh, the actual rooms and getting that going obviously home would be changed and things like that but that's a very useful configuration if you're trying to control different areas of the home um, without having to control everything as a whole um, and then you go into the about section that's obviously just going to be details about the app and what uh, revision it is and things like that um, but that ladies and gentlemen is the uh, settings menu uh, of the brand new geo alarm application if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Please like and subscribe to our page for helpful programming and installation videos, product reviews, and more. Visit www.geoarm.com. That's www.geoarm.com or call 877-443-6276. Geoarm, the worldwide leader in DIY security.